Hey everyone, it's Sarah here. Um, thought it was time that I did another update because I haven't done one for a few days. Possibly even over a week, I'm not sure. So, post-op videos. I, first of all, I'll start with my weight loss. I started dieting two weeks before my procedure, my sleeve, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, and I'm currently on day 15 post-op. So, 15 days is basically two weeks and one day. So, um, two weeks pre-op, two weeks post-op. I have lost, in that total time, which is one month, I have lost a total of 10 kilos, um, which is 22 pounds. So, I am over the moon, because that's a huge amount of weight to lose in a month. 10 kilos or 22 pounds. Um, so, first thing that I'm noticing, obviously, is my belly is shrinking. Um, I've noticed that I have a neck <laughs> in there somewhere. See? <laughs> um, I've noticed, you know, like my jawline and that is starting to shrink up. I don't know if you can notice it through the webcam or not. Um, and look, clavicles! Or collarbones, as you would say. I have them. They're in there somewhere, but you can start to see them when I go like that, which you couldn't see them at all before. Um, so, life is pretty good after the sleeve. Um, I do, oh, I wanted to say a quick thing um, to Gino. Uh, I'm not sure of the time difference, because he's in America and I'm in Australia. But for those of you that know Gino, he's going in for surgery on the 24th of August. So I want to say a big, huge good luck. Um, you will be fine. Don't freak out. You know, you've got all the people there that love and support you. Um, you know, just make sure you get your point across to the nurses because I know, um, you know, some of the doctors, surgeons and nurses, although most of them are really, really nice, some of them can be really, you know, just have no compassion. So I'm wishing you all the best, Gino. I will be praying for you and I know that you're going to do it this time. I know that everything's going to be fine and that we will be seeing some post-op videos from you very soon. So I wish you the best of luck and I uh, hope everything goes, you know, I hope everything goes well for you. Um, I just wanted to let Gino know um, with the drug that they give you pre-op, just before you're going into surgery. Um, yes, Gino, they did give me that drug. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same drug that they gave you. Um, but yes, my anaesthetist gave me a drug just before I got wheeled into the operating theater and it, for me, it worked. It worked in about five seconds. Um, I was still conscious. I still knew what was going on, um, but I just sort of felt La -di -da. just felt really relaxed and whatnot. Um, now Gino, I heard in your video that they, despite numbing your area or whatever, they tried, they were going to stick a tube down your throat when you were awake. That, I don't understand that. Like, as I said, living in Amer you living in America and me living in Australia, I know that some things will be different, but I've never, ever heard of someone having a tube down their throat while they're awake. I mean, over here, if you're getting a tube down your throat, you're getting put to sleep. <laughs> um, and it's funny you say that. I know exactly how you feel because when I woke up in intensive care after I had my second operation when I had my complication, um, when I woke up in intensive care, I had one of those breathing tubes right down my throat. And the nurse said to me, when I, when I came to and after it was all over, he said, I said, did, did I have a tube down my throat? Did I try and pull that out? And he's like, yeah, you were swearing and everything. And I'm like, I'm sorry. So, Gina, I totally understand you because when I, when I became conscious, all I could feel was this tube down my throat and I was out of it and I'm just trying to pull it out and pull it out. And he's like, no, don't touch it, don't touch it. And I'm like get this tube out of my freaking throat it is driving me insane and then i started to gag and like start 
choking on it and then I just felt it go out. So I think the nurse must have realised that um, it needed to come out. <laughs> so, but yeah, putting a tube down your throat, I mean, even if they numb the area or whatnot, you know, you don't stick a tube down someone's throat when they're conscious. <laughs> um, so yes, that's um, what happened with me. Um, anybody that watches my videos that is trying to decide between a lap band or the VSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy or um, gastric bypass. I can't comment for gastric bypass. I personally do not like gastric bypass um, because I know of I know of heaps of people that have had the gastric bypass and have had wonderful results and they've had no complications. Um, but I've also heard some horror stories. Um, you know, it is it is a big procedure. The the gastric bypass. You know, you know they reroute some stuff in there and you know anyway I don't know much about that so I'm not going to talk about that but what I want to say to anybody that is watching my videos that is considering the band versus the VSG please listen to me when I tell you do not get the band I know there are there are probably thousands of people on YouTube that have had the band and have been successful and I know there are because I'm following some of them I know they've had great results. <coughs> Pardon me. But I am seeing a lot of... Um, I'm also seeing a lot of failed bands. A lot. Now, I had a lap band for six years. I did everything by the book and it did absolutely nothing. Now, the biggest thing I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to you know, say you have to have this and don't have this, but I'll, expo I'll try and explain to you what the difference is feeling-wise. As you guys know with a lap band, your normal stomach is there, right? If you cheat or you find your way around the band, you won't lose any weight. And believe me, it's easier to cheat than you think. So you've still got this big stomach there, right? So if you can cheat and you can get through that band, you need to fill this whole entire stomach, okay? So you're not going to lose weight. Now for me, when I had the band adjusted many times, I chewed my food, I ate the right things, blah, blah, blah. Most of the time, my food would get stuck in the band. Because if you see diagrams of it, right, you've got your normal stomach and then right up the top, you've got this band squishing your stomach making for a little sack up the top that is supposed to make you feel full. No, it doesn't. If you feel that little sack full of food, you feel like you're going to be sick or regurgitated because it, it can't pass through the band properly. That's what I had. So if I ate something and it didn't go straight through the band, it hurt like crap and <laughs> probably thousands of times over the six years I would eat something it'd get stuck in my band horrible horrible pain like just stuck there there's only one way to get rid of that food and of course I'm sure you all are quite aware it's by vomiting it back up so I literally had to go to the toilet many times and make myself vomit to get rid of the pain from the food also, I found in the mornings, the band is a lot tighter, so I couldn't eat breakfast because I would just get stuck and I'd spew it back up. So that was my experience with the band. I didn't have a very good experience with the band. It was put in properly and I did the right thing, but you know. I'm currently two weeks post-op from the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I got my band taken out and I got a VSG. As you know, it's not reversible, it's permanent. It's not like the band where you can just take it out. But let me tell you, in only two weeks, the difference between the VSG and the band is huge. When I, when I drink something or eat something with this VSG that I have now, I genuinely feel full. 
there's no stuck feeling you know where your food doesn't go down you've still got to chew it and you've still got to eat slowly just like you do with the band because if you eat too much you will vomit because your stomach's so small now but the best thing about the VSG is when I drink something or I eat something I genuinely feel full I feel satisfied and I don't want to eat anymore and I'm eating small amounts I'm talking like half a yogurt I'm full um, you know a cup of soup where you put the boiling water in one of that and I'm full you know it's a huge difference to the band so anyway I'm not going to keep dwelling on that just letting you guys know that if you are considering the band please 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 do some research and please do some research with the VSG because um, the VSG is it is a permanent procedure so obviously it's got probably some more increased risks than the band however the results um, the weight loss is faster through the VSG than a lap band um, and it's also a bit more guaranteed you know, you can't cheat with the VSG, you know. You might think, oh, I'm going to have some chocolate. Well, let me tell you, you'll eat two blocks of chocolate and you'll be so full that you can't eat anything else. It, the band's not like that. If you find a way to get through the band through, like, liquid calories or you find something that, even though it's solid, it can go through the band, you've got that big stomach down the bottom to fill up. So, yeah it is very easy to cheat with the band um, so um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm doing well I'm sure I probably don't look my best I'm in my pajamas my hair's a mess and I've got no makeup on that is because it is about nine o'clock at night so I'm just about ready for bed um, but look everything is going really really good I bought a set of scales today so I can monitor my weight loss because I've been weighing myself at my parents house because um, they're the only people that have scales <laughs> so now I've got my own set of scales at my house so I can weigh myself whenever I feel like it which I'm not going to do too often because otherwise I'll become obsessed with it so I just wanted to let you guys know that everything's going good I'm losing weight um, I'm feeling mighty fine I've dropped a size in clothing I've bought um, a dress and I bought a shirt and both the dress and the shirt were a size down to what I usually wear so I've lost 22 pounds or 10 kilos as I said at the start of the video um, which has made me drop a, a dress size so I'm absolutely stoked about that so um, I'll let you guys go. If you guys have any questions you'd like to ask about, um, you know, my complications or about the VSG or about, you know, what I'm eating or drinking, just comment below this video and I shall endeavour to answer you guys as soon as I can. Um, I think that's pretty much, pretty much everything. I will try and do another video. <sighs> by the end of the week I suppose and I'll do another weigh in and see how I'm going but um, at the moment the numbers are going down so I'm quite happy um, in my last video I showed you bruises well I'm two weeks out of my operation and I've still got, as you can see the bruising is all still there and in my other wrist you can see the bruising so I don't know if I'm the sort of person that bruises easily. I've, like I said, I've had about three or four operations in the past and I've never ever bruised like this before. So, I don't know. So, I will sign off for now and let all you guys go. Just another quick thing. Again, I'll be praying for you, Gino. Everything will be fine. Guys, um, if you know who I'm talking about, which I'm sure most of you do, don't forget to go on to his profile and, you know, just leave him a comment and let him know that we're all thinking of him and we'll, we'll all be praying for him. Um, he's getting uh, 
gastric bypass surgery um, tomorrow, the 24th of August. So we'll, I'm wishing him the best of luck. Everything will be fine. And I'll probably do another video towards the end of the week. Okay? Bye!